Morning, Alicia and Michael. I am here hiding behind the cattails. And I have to tell you, it's not very often that you see six foot cattails growing along a curb on a city street. But I'm not here this morning to talk to you about cattails. I'm here to tell you about this slab of concrete the city put in a couple of months ago. And the question is why here? Brenda Price was on her way home from work one day, driving through this neighborhood full of abandonment and decay, when something unusual caught her eye. She noticed a construction crew putting in brand new sidewalks right in front of vacant lots. Long-term abandoned properties because the weeds have grown kind of high. So I just thought that that was kind of a waste of taxpayer money or it could be more strategically spent. So that's how I made the call to you. I checked out the neighborhood near John R. and Seven Mile. Lots of abandonment, tons of vacant lots, burned out shells, and other sidewalks in the area badly broken up or so overgrown they're impassable. Brenda's question was a good one. Why would the city of Detroit replace sections of sidewalk here? I called Ron Brundage, the head of Detroit's Department of Public Works. He told me these sidewalks are being replaced with federal money, and the federal funds have strings attached. The catch is the money has to be used to replace sidewalks damaged by heavy equipment when homes are demolished. But the city does have some discretion as to which sidewalks damaged by demolition it replaces. Because of the questions we raised on Brenda's behalf, Ron Brundage has decided to change city policy. From now on, Detroit will strategically target this federal money. Instead of spending it willy-nilly, they'll direct the money to replace sidewalks damaged by demolition in neighborhoods that are more vital, areas with more foot and bicycle traffic. It's my understanding that some of these contracts are let years in advance, so maybe they had not caught up with the situation in the community at the time. Uh, so I think it's a good call that they are going to make a change. Brenda lives a couple blocks away from where she spotted the questionable sidewalk replacements, a block with a lot more vitality and pride. Brenda's neighbor, Peter Wee, says they keep things together by getting everyone on the block involved. You got to get the whole neighborhood active or nothing really happens. I really thank you for following up and getting some action and some policy change. It takes all of us to be a solution for changing the, the Detroit for the better. You know, a lot of times when we call city officials, public officials, and tell them about waste or inefficiency, they get upset, sometimes downright hostile. To Ron Brundage's credit, he listened. He sent an inspector out here. He said, you know, your viewer has a point. We're going to make a change. So from now on, they're going to be a lot more selective about where they spend this federal money. If you some, see waste or inefficiency in your neighborhood, give the Channel 7 investigators a call, and we'll check it out for you. Reporting live from Seven Mile and John R. Scott Lewis, Channel 7 Action News. Michael and Alicia, back to you. That's really